what's going on guys? My name is Violent. Welcome to Grizz Zombies. Today we're going to be talking about Call of Duty World War II and Update 1.07 that brought a ton of zombies changes. I hope you guys are ready for some juicy news update because it's going down and it's going to be full of juice. So if you learned something today, drop a like on this video and subscribe. Let me know in the comments section if you're new and if anything here sparks an idea, anything at all, Hit me up over on Twitter, at GrizzViolent. It's the best place to keep talking zombies. Now, they did implement leaderboards. We did have a menu for this. We'll talk about that in a second. What I want to talk about is something that's really not talked about in the patch notes, and that's a whole new thing, a whole new menu that we got called Challenges. Now, you guys know the special characters, but we've never been able to track that progress of what you've done and what you haven't done. These challenges are quite hard. They're hidden challenges. And now we have an actual UI menu. It comes along with the UI improvements, that they're actually talking about general UI fixes and improvements. This menu was included in that, and so I'm really glad that this was implemented, mostly because these are the only challenges that matter, at least to Zombies players. It's not like there's actual challenges you can do to achieve camos. You have to rank up in multiplayer for that to be possible. Now there will be another camo that's coming, and that's for Twitch users. So I will note that now, if you link your Twitch account with your Call of Duty account on December 8th tomorrow, you will have access and be sent a new camo called Bomb Voyage. Now, if you want to learn exactly what you got to do, I'll have a video linked down in the description box below. I already covered this, but that's what you're going to get if you link your Twitch Prime account with your Call of Duty account. So on the leaderboards, it's been a big issue ever since launch, or a little bit past a month since the launch of Call of Duty World War II. And the leaderboards were frozen pretty much for zombies. There were these glitched accounts that were getting crazy amounts of accuracy. The leaderboards just didn't make any damn sense. Now they're broken apart into different segments and they have, you know, overlays into each other where I believe this new system is worked out very well. Very well thought out and Sledgehammer, I give you props on this. So be sure to check that out. It's been updated and the leaderboards is looking really fine. And with the event of Winter Siege actually being here, five new weapons were introduced. We're going to talk about that towards the end of this video. I'm going to talk about what you can see right now in your weapon build kits. You can actually see all the variants, all the epic variants. They're all showcasing right now. And I will have a video on that, just a specific video, showing you guys all those variants coming up. However, I'm just going to name off some of the main things, just little things that were fixed. They fixed freezing in the menus. They fixed an issue where players lose all XP upon leaving a match. There was an issue fixed where players joined zombies from multiplayer and are sent to an empty test space. I did see that it had an FX on it. Very strange. A fixed issue where players can create custom prologue matches. Never really uh, experienced that. The consumables tab was updated, so this has been refreshed and looks a little bit different. It's a lot of the same, but the UI has been enhanced quite a bit, so you will see this becoming updated the consumables now there was an issue fixed where team based trophies achieved are now granted to players who joined in before the fifth wave also zombie supply drops this is a big deal okay we finally got all of them and everyone was rewarded the ones that they missed out on okay they actually kept track of this so this is some sort of advanced technology that i'm not used to with call of duty because activision assist did say that they couldn't promise you get these supply drops back, which usually is always a no. However, Sledgehammer had our back. But before update 1.07, we never had an actual wave before wave 1. We now have a wave 0 that appears for about 10 seconds before the match actually starts. So I just found this very interesting. We never actually had the 0 counter up there before. Let me know what you guys think about that. Pack a punch is also something that was slightly affected. Now the time when you actually pack a punch has been reduced slightly so it did get a small nerf. However this is not noted in the actual patch notes. This is something I had felt out myself and you guys can let me know what you think of the, whether this is faster or it's the same speed. I happen to think that the time delay in between you grabbing your weapon and the pack punch being fully done that has been reduced slightly. Now I did do two examples here so we can see once it ends now the delayed stall of the pickup has been reduced very very slightly so small nerf there but with the winter update of 1.07 I got an interesting quote here from Drosten right once I entered this room here the toy master shop upstairs I got a quote that said this must be where Santa's workshop is and that is where I got the hint maybe that something's going on in this room that I'm not seeing and maybe you guys can help me out with this I don't know why would he mention that this is Santa's workshop 
in that specific area and I thought it was very peculiar because we just had this winter update so I went in here with a Brenner head just to kind of look around and see if I got anything that showed up on the wall in case I missed something you guys let me know if you see anything in this footage I didn't find anything and I was actually hoping that the Brenner head might have a Santa hat on it so I wanted to go to a high enough round to make sure that nothing was changed at least with the zombie outfits and everything like that everything appears to be normal right now the only thing new that I actually got was that quote up there in the toy shop saying that this might be Santa's workshop so I thought that was really interesting I would love a Santa hat on the Brenner hat I would think that'd be amazing but if there is a Santa Claus Easter egg wouldn't you think that it would have to do maybe with the chimneys because Santa Claus does come down a chimney something that Dame in that game I'll have him link down in the description box below too told me is that you can blow up these chimneys on top of the houses my mind was just blown and I, nothing has revealed itself to me yet but I've gone around and blown it up with my sticky grenade I rock those simtexes so I can stick wherever I want to stick it I throw it up on these and it blows away parts of the actual chimney not all the time will it blow off the entire chimney but it will blow it up fully if you keep chucking grenades at it so it's destructible this is very interesting and I noticed a fog as well by the docks this is the other part that I want to mention is that there's this fog happening this random fog that occurs this is white mist and I would think that this is set up for Santa to move across with his sleigh just across the mountains how epic would that look that might be these might, might be triggers for an Easter egg that's happening here during the winter siege event performance like sexual excuse me Willie, are you saying there's something wrong with my gear? Something cool that I noticed, I actually did get a tweet over on Twitter about this, that it's not new, but if you pull up your select menu on the wall weapons themselves, it will pull up actual stats of how powerful the weapon is and if you want to pick it up. Apparently this has been here since the launch of the game, but I just noticed it in my game and I wanted to bring that to you guys. So let's go over a few more of what's left in these patch notes. For split screen guys, the host migration aborted error has been fixed. There were general fixes with XP gains. The progress bar was added to the download update, so you will see that now. The event of Winter Siege is in full swing, and the quest for juicy loot begins tomorrow. With the XP issue being fixed, you can now quit zombies matches and receive all of the XP that you ever had. Before you would just lose it. Now pull up your pants, go into the HQ and grab some balls. Huh. It's actually a snow globe now, which is pretty sweet. But our boy in headquarters, Major Hank Rodeu, down here in his little cave, got a buff. And you're gonna be like, how's that possible? Well, in the patch notes it reads, fix an error received when joining zombies through headquarters. So this feature here now works properly. But here they are. Here are the five new weapons coming with the Winter Siege event. The GPMG LMG, the Sten SMG, the Guher 43 Assault Rifle, Trench Knife, and the Ice Pick. These weapons you'll be able to find in the Winter Siege Supply Drops. So those will be available as well. So how do you earn these Winter Siege Supply Drops? Well, you can do it through Quartermaster Challenges, End of the Match Drops, or by completing Orders. These are different ways you can do it. But if you're just a Zombies player, you're going to have to step out of your norm, go into the headquarters, do some orders in multiplayer. But it doesn't come without benefits. We have a new Quartermaster, his name's Butcher, and he'll be here throughout the remainder of the Winter Siege event. But what Butcher brings with him is perhaps more impressive, and shout out to Sledgehammer Games for putting this all together. He brought a content schedule, and we haven't seen this since Infinity Ward, and they were the last Zombies developer that we played through. Week one, we're going to have some serious juicy loot, so every week you're going to want to come in because you're going to be getting a free winter crate. And this is what's so remarkable, is you have an opportunity to get all these weapons for free, you just got to show up. And as well, you can earn more and more of these drops as you move along. I'm sure they're going to be purchasable, so just buckle up and get ready for that. There are just so many ways to earn these that just get in there and play. And even by playing zombies, you're going to be receiving these rewards. So you're not going to receive as many as you would in multiplayer, but it's going to last all the way till January 2nd of 2018. But I'm ready, man. I'm ready to earn those new weapons, get that juicy loot. I'm going to put my coat on right now. I don't know about you guys. But for all you sneaky fellas out there in the grass, the issue was fixed where you could interact with objects when you're dying and you're the last survivor. So don't be thinking about going over there because the hammer has come down and you can't buy it. So 
Hope you guys can take some of this information and learn from it. If you did, drop a like on the video, and I will see you in another video very shortly. Violin out.